All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results, 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Once again, when you're at the website, sign up for the free newsletter. Check out the free downloads. Excuse me. Setting goals, fitness and nutrition. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. The podcast is out there. All of us, True Results 303. Some of the links for social media is down below as well. Okay? Coming at you today with... A video on is Eucharistic adoration in the Bible, right? So uh, I had a debate with one of my buddies. I don't see him much. I haven't really seen him since I was in my teens, right? So it's been like 10 years. And, you know, we were close. We were, we were hockey friends. But, of course, I met him through my best friends. But, you know, definitely we are now a lot closer, I would say, just because we're still on that spiritual journey. But we got into a dispute, uh, you know, just a, a debate on Facebook the other day about the real presence of Jesus, right? Is the Eucharist, is it really the body and blood? And at the same time, I was actually listening to or watching a video series on Eucharistic adoration. And the gentleman's name is Dr. Bryant Petrie, P-I-T-R-E, Dr. D-R, right, Dr. Brian or Bryant? I can't remember. It might be Brian. I think it was B-R-Y-A-N. Petri. P-I-T-R-E. So look him up. But during this, you know, he talks about the Eucharist in the Bible. From Genesis all the way to when Jesus truly reveals it. And he brought something up in this that I thought was interesting. Eucharist ad adoration. You know, for me as a Catholic, I never really cared if it was in the Bible. You know what I mean? To me, it's like, well, if Jesus is truly present in the bread and wine, then, of course, you, you, Eucharistic adoration makes perfect sense. You go, you sit before the sacrament, which is truly the body of, and blood of Jesus, right? So if you sit in front of the Eucharist, it just makes sense to me. I never needed biblical proof because to me it made sense. But he also said you got to remember some of the weird and crazy traditions that we have come from the Jewish tradition. We just carry it over. And I think the younger generations kind of pick this up as well. Uh, when I was taking my goddaughter to Mass a lot, she said, we were talking about something I can't remember. And I was like, well, Jesus was a Jew. And she's like, well, then how come we're not Jewish? Why are we Christian? And it's like, well, he's a fulfillment. You know, but she kind of understood it. She understands it. Well, why aren't we Jewish? And she goes, and I told her, well, because... The new covenant, so now we're Christian, right? But she understands that, well, we should be Jewish. We should still carry on some of those customs, right? So he brought it up, and actually, adoration is in the Bible. Sorry, I ranted there for three minutes before I got to it, but I wanted to share that with you. So here it is. Exodus 16.32. And this is after they eat the manna in the desert, right? This is after... Uh, they leave Egypt and they're wandering in the desert and they get the manna. So Exodus 16.32, Moses said, This is what the Lord has commanded. Keep a full, a full omer of it for your future generations, so that they may see the food I gave you to eat in the wilderness when I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Moses then told Aaron, Take a jar and put a full omer of manna in it. Right? The bread of life. In the Old Testament. Take a full jar and put a full omer of manna in it. Then place it before the Lord to keep it for your future generations. And as the Lord has commanded Moses, Aaron placed it in front of the covenant to keep it. The Israelites ate manna for 40 years until they came to settled land. They ate manna until they came to the borders of Cana and Omer is one-tenth of an ephah. So, right, there it is. It is biblical, right? Because we follow some of those traditions as Catholics. Now, other Christians, other forms of denominations, they don't, they don't go back into the, the Old Testament, right? That's why a lot of people misunderstand what the Catholic Church teaches, right? Because you've got to understand when Jesus said, study the scriptures, when St. Paul, when the Gospels, anywhere in the New Testament it says study, study the scriptures, 
What do you think they meant? They meant the Old Testament because the New Testament wasn't around, right? There was no such thing as the New Testament. So if they say study the scriptures, the only scriptures there are is the Old Testament. So in order to truly understand Catholicism, you need to truly understand the New Testament or the Old Testament. So let me repeat it again. Moses said, this is what the Lord has commanded. Keep a full omer of it for future generations so that they may see the food, see the food, right? They may see the food I gave you to eat in the wilderness when I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Moses then, then told Aaron, take a jar, put a full omer of manna in it, then place it before the Lord to keep it for future generations. As the Lord had commanded Moses, Aaron placed it in front of the covenant to keep it. So there we go. Eucharistic adoration. Those who think we are crazy, it is biblical. It's right there in the Bible. It's right there in the Bible. Exodus 16, 32. Jesus is the bread of life. This was the bread of life for them. This is another way how the Eucharist is starting to come into, you know, they're, they're taking the steps to get us to the new covenant, the body and blood of Jesus. So, I hope this helps. I thought that was very interesting. You know, I, hope, I know I made that a long video. I apologize, but it was a very valuable, especially for us Catholics. So, once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Once again, it's mind, body, spirit, fitness. There's exercise, fitness, nutrition, all other types of videos on this channel as well. But you are here for Christianity, Catholicism, which is great. But once again, the body's the temple. We need to get in shape. So, if you're not on that journey yet, I hope I can help you on that journey. So, once again, don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, True Results 303 no E. So, I hope that helps. Hopefully you can't see that. A text and message popped up. So, once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share it like these videos.